This video is going to show you how to root the Galaxy Note 2. Now I'm using the Sprint version, but obviously in the toolkit, you'll choose the version you have, whether it be T-Mobile, AT&T, or etc. So I'll press one option, but you might need to press another. So just keep that in mind. All because I press 2 doesn't necessarily mean you need to press 2. Anyways, you'll scroll down here until you get to this link right here. I middle click on it so it opens it in a new tab, and then you click download. And you can click save file, but I prefer to use down them all. It is a uh, download manager for Firefox and I've just been using it for a long time and it works very well for me and downloads go pretty fast so yeah I also it'll check MD5s if the uploader provides one it's not going as fast as I wanted it to but oh well alright come on alright it's done so you'll have to ignore my desktop at this point in time. I need an external hard drive because, well, I have nowhere to put my videos. So that's why I'm never my desktop right now. Anyways, if you have UAC enabled, then you will have to right click on it and run as administrator. Now you'll know because like CCleaner will have a little icon right here that'll let you know that, you know, when you click on it, it'll ask you, do you want to allow this? I have UAC disabled. So I don't need to right click and run as administrator, but that little icon right there, if you see that, that means you have UAC enabled. So just click on it, run as administrator, and then next, 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 next. Let it, you know, flash all the files to your computer, execute the program. Stupid freaking Avast. It, nar. Continue execution, Jesus. That is annoying. No, I don't want to check for an update because as of this time, I have not donated. But I will be donating, that's for sure. All right, we have the Sprint version, so we'll press option four. Obviously, if you have the International, you'll press the one, two, or three. If you have the T-Mobile version, you'll press five. If you have US Cellular, you might press six. And as time goes on, this toolkit will be updated and US Cellular might be option seven. So just make sure that you're paying attention to what you're doing. Enter, install, note two drivers to PC. Press one and then press enter. Actually, instead of installing drivers, I'm gonna go in here and type uninstall, and then a program, and then Samsung. I don't have any Samsung USB drivers installed. If I did, I would just press on it and choose uninstall. So I'll go back to the number one, press number one, and then it's gonna do that. So press any key to continue. And now it's gonna want me to install the drivers and then just let it do its thing okay sometimes it'll make you you know reboot your computer sometimes it won't we'll see oh I hate that it does that every time but it never installs them I don't know what's going on and also keep in mind I'll try to put a note up it says right here unplug your USB cable if it's connected that's just for the stupid of ass thing alright now we need to plug the phone in as you can see, it's currently installing the drivers. It's ready to use and it doesn't quite say to reboot, so hopefully we don't have to. Mic check one, two, one, two, audio in sync. All right, now here on the computer, we're gonna, sh gonna press a new button and we do see our serial number at the top. Awesome. So for routing options, we're going to press number, refresh, flash, rename, download, I guess number two. Then flash insecure boot image and root phone, flash insecure root and install busy box all in one. This time we'll press number three because we want the all in one. We definitely want twerp recovery. <laughs> I do not recommend pressing option one. It's completely up to you, but trust me, twerp is much better in my honest opinion. Now, you can choose whether you use super user or super SU. Lately, I've been a pretty big chain fire fan, so I'm gonna go with option two. It says one file copied. Moved. USB debugging needs to be enabled before starting. Used to be able to unplug. Do this, just plug it back in. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Like he said, unplug it, press menu, settings, go to developer options, and make sure it's checked. Sometimes it's not. See, it'll say off, press on, press OK, and then check USB debugging, and press OK. Then just plug your phone right back in.
All right, are we ready to continue? Yes. Waiting for USB debugging, you're rebooting in the download mode. Awesome, it's rebooting. Sweet. Installing drivers. Ha ha ha. There is Odin. It says make sure the auto reboot and F reset timer checked. Nothing else at all. Click on the PDA button and go to Galaxy Note 2 toolkit. Alright, so OSC, Galaxy Note 2, open the root folder right here. Boot insecure recovery. That one right there. Open. Make sure the file location is displayed next to PDA and click start. It says reset, so we are good to go. Phone is currently rebooting. Exit Odin so the toolkit can continue. Waiting for device to be detected. And my phone's telling me I need to activate it because I haven't done that yet. Is it going to detect it? Setting up root on your phone. ADB is currently running as root. Remount succeeded. Flashing super user APK and binary. Renaming recovery restore. Root exit. Testing busy box. Holy cow. Congratulations. You hacked it. Rebooting phone to apply. Let's let it boot up real quick. It says Android is upgrading. Let's see if we have root. Ah, oh, stupid thing. Super user or super SU? Super SU, just like we chose. And I swear to you, we did not have root before. So one of my favorite root apps, the reason I root most of my devices, is so that I can go in here and install Titanium Backup. Right there. There's my video in the Google Play Store. Run it. Da, 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 da. Open it up. Let's see if it app Grant. Grant. <laughs> that is so awesome. We have root on a Galaxy Note 2 24 hours after purchasing it. Now I'm going to make this the pro version real quick. Basically, I'm exporting my license to my SD card. Export. Now when I go back to Titanium Backup, I press Menu, Reload Application, we now have the Pro version. Show it! From here we can go to Menu, Preferences, Enable Dropbox, Back, go to Schedules, press Run, Log In. You'll be presented with a screen that says Allow, just press Allow or Deny preferably allow and then it'll scan and see what all files you don't have on your phone that are in your Dropbox and it'll start putting those on your phone. Now we're back at the computer and I want to show you something real quick. If you press option 20 it takes you to this thing where you can choose which mode you go into. I'm going to press option 2 and have it reboot the phone into recovery real quick and show you that we currently have custom recovery which at this point, I highly recommend making a backup of your ROM. Check that out. Team win. <laughs> Just press reboot to system. Or if you want to make a backup, go to backup. Once it's done, then reboot to system. If this toolkit helped you root your phone, I highly recommend pressing 25. And it'll launch Internet Exploder. And you can make a small donation to the developer. All you got to do is press a key. And like I said, it'll launch Internet Exploder. If you have a few dollars to spare, please send it his way. If you want to help me out, just give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It'll notify you when I post new videos of the Galaxy Note 2. Trust me, there will be many more of them. My name is Josh. My username stands for What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.